New videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. This is Athena Jezik, and we're going to be working the stomach. And this is Courtney we're working on. We're going to apply the oil. Everything goes in a clockward direction, clockwise direction. Sometimes when you're working the stomach, you're going to feel stomachs growling. And it oftentimes makes my stomach growl because I'm ready to eat. So I wonder what I should eat. Mexican food, maybe? Chinese? Does anybody have an idea out there for food when your stomach's growling and you're working on someone's stomach? Here I'm just taking the quadrants, the quadrants of the lymphatic system. There's, they flow this, this direction. The quadrants are like that. So I tend to move uh, with even with the muscle work to a degree with the lymphatic system in the abdomen area. It just seems to make a little more sense to follow those lines, those that drainage. So as I'm doing these clockwise directions, I'm really getting hungry. So what is your favorite food to eat? Mexican or Oriental? Okay, you can come up and pull the back a little forward. And now her stomach is growling. So what food do you think she should eat, Mexican or Chinese? And I suppose I could ask if you like GMO or non-GMO food. So I'm going around primarily with the direction of the large intestine. This is the ascending colon and it bends the descending colon, or the transverse colon and then the descending. Sometimes if there's fullness in there, you can feel that, you can feel it begin to move. We have the liver right here, front and back, so little techniques in lymphatic work, you can drain the liver. There's a lot of fluid that gets caught in the liver. It's, the liver has quite a task to do to keep us going. And the gallbladder is hidden behind. The liver comes kind of down like so. And the gallbladder is behind it. Hangs down just a little. And on this side we have the spleen is up under here and pancreas runs across. But the stomach is also coming here. Oftentimes when people feel like they have something going on in their stomach, maybe in this part of the stomach or or in the center here. That oftentimes can be from stress. It's the small intestines are here, right here in the middle. There's a lot of them. And then when you feel more of an irritation on the outer sides of your um, abdomen, then it's working its way through the colon, the large intestine colon. So you can get a little bit more of a fix on what's going on with your stomach when you can identify kind of the area of it. If you are under a lot of stress from a daily thing, the stomach tends to filter that and so stomachs oftentimes get a little irritated under duress. That's why it's important to relax out things and not take things too seriously. You can take your hands behind and also work up, which feels really good. Kind of gets the whole thing. There's a lot of muscle in the back protecting, but it's quite vulnerable in the front. 
You can also do some shaking in the front. And when you see that kind of action up and down, what that is is it's very loose, so that means that there's fluid moving well. Little indicators. And then there are some muscles that run longer, so you can sweep these upward. And just anything that you think would feel good on you, you can add in. And then I like to do a little, just a little lymph drainage in the quadrants. So it'll be moving the uh, fluid in this quadrant area. And then there's one caution that you want to do with the abdomen. And that's that um, xiphoid process where the ribs are coming up together. And then there's a little bone. It's kind of a little pointed bone. It's called the xiphoid process. You never want to push on that. So if you're working on this, be sure that you're not coming in hard right between the ribs. Okay, that feels pretty good. And I, by mapping the fluid flow, it's all moving in the right direction. So she should be okay. Something else that can be done is in the liver, you're gonna find oftentimes that livers feel really different. Uh, a healthy liver should feel soft. And a liver that's being overworked will feel a little bit harder. And then if you feel a liver that feels just like a, you're holding some fat, then that's more of a fatty liver and you wanna be mindful of that. That's not a good condition for a liver to be in. So I'm just doing a little lymph pumping here on the liver right now. Now, in order to do um, more lymph drainage, there's nodes to drain. You need to drain up into the axillary and then the sides of the, of the rib cage there's some nodes and then you drain those quadrants like I did a little bit earlier. You drain those quadrants out and but then you also come up the, wa the um, watershed. Now I'm not on that xiphoid but there's a structure near there called the cisterna chili where a lot of lymph will get collected and then of course going back over the liver and then you can bring it up to the side and then also open it there and at the neck again. And then there's nodes right about here, which are the deeper structured nodes. And you can pump that up and pump it up through the middle. And then you can drain the superficial, will go down toward the leg into the inguinal area and it'll be worked into the deeper structure we have two large uh, nodes here that are deeper. You work those up and then you um, bring it up into the, the watershed and up into the cisterna chili. And then you can also open up and then you can drain the remainder of the superficial lymph down into the inguinal area. Now this isn't the right order for a lymphatic massage, but you can check things that way if you're working somebody's abdomen. I don't work that many abdomens except for in lymph work, or if I get people who've come in from surgery or um, liposuction, tummy tucks, that sort of thing, then I work uh, the stomach. Primarily I work it with lymphatic work. There is a way to take some of this deep bruising out as well, and it moves pretty quickly. And then of course you just always want to end with a nice circle. Not too much pressure, remember there's a lot of organs in there, and just get it to move in the direction that the intestines do move because it enters in and flows that way around. So there you have it. Thank you and my stomach just growled. <laughs>